Hello, hello, hello! It's Stellara, and welcome back to Phantom Liberty. On our last episode, V took the opportunity to explore Dogtown a little bit, and meet some people, and do some quests. But at the very end of the episode, we got a call from Solomon Reed. He has successfully extracted the president from Night City. She is safely back in Washington. And so now, we can turn our attentions to finding our missing friend, Songbird. Uh, apparently, whoa, my god, that guy almost ran me over. Apparently there is another sleeper agent hidden in Night City, and we're gonna contact them to hopefully get us to help, uh, get us some help in searching for Songbird. I got distracted there because I just saw a text come in from Pan Am. It's our girl. She's, oh. 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 How do I? Oh. She sent some, some sexy messages. Okay. I uh, haven't seen you around lately. Been traipsing around NC, just asking, no reason. Not like I miss you or anything. I miss you too, kissy face. What's new at the camp? Well, actually, I wanted to ask your advice on something. I need to talk to Saul about a member of the family. It's a delicate issue. There's this Jax fellow. Oh my god. Sorry, I was trying to scroll up. Uh, there's this Jax fellow, you don't know him, who was leading a scouting mission. He was piloting the drone and was supposed to make sure the area was clear of any wraiths. Turns out he completely rode off a passage out of the basin that a petrochem convoy had passed through there just the day before, thinking for some reason that the wraiths wouldn't be lingering there. Well, that's exactly where we got ambushed. We have footage from the drone. We lost the entire party. Four people, V. Who knows? Maybe they could have been saved, but Jax panicked. He tried to cover up the whole mess, and by the time we found out what happened, it was too late, and now we have to figure out what to do with him. Ugh. I mean... Covering up four people are dead? Nor normally I would go with uh, response number one here and say, hey, go easy on the guy. But oh my god. To cover up the deaths of four people? I think I'm gonna have to go with option number two. Shit, Pan Am, I'm sorry to hear that. Normally I'd tell you to go easy on the guy, but the Alta Caldos have been through too much hardship to let this kind of thing slide. Human error, lapse in judgment, maybe just plain stupidity. Who knows, but consequences are in order. Eh, I was afraid you would say that, but you're probably right. This family can only remain together if it not only draws some hard lessons from these kinds of mistakes, but consequences too. Thanks for talking this over with me. Every day it's becoming clearer that you're my voice of reason, V. We could use someone like you in the clan. Just repeating what everyone else keeps saying. You're really damn important to me, you know that? Just needed to say that. Oh, triple kissy face. Can't wait to see you again. Can't wait to see you too, Pan Am. I said this before, but I like how even though... I mean, we're still in Night City, but it feels very much like we're far away from the base of the events... Or from the events of the base game, sorry. <laughs> but I really like how moments like that keep you grounded in the fact that you are, you are still the same V, you're still in the same Night City, so Pan Am checking in um, kind of grounds grounds you a little bit in this game, if you will, and I, I like it. Especially when she sends a sexy photo, spam trickle, wow wow. All right, so our undercover agent is at the Moth Bar. Um, so we're on the way there now. I don't know why it's called the Moth Bar. Do you think it has a moth infestation? Is the building shaped like a moth? I uh, don't don't know where it's got where it got its name, but I, I guess we'll find out. The Moth. All right. We made it. If you want my advice, I dump that pile of human awful. See how Pretty cute little spot. Out? I mean, I don't really see you how it gets its name, know. but... Whoa! There's a new game! So they had this game in the base game, Rotrace, which is a pun on uh, The Witcher 3. But this one is new, Trauma Drama. Well, now we gotta check this out. Hang on. Trauma Drama. How do we play? Oh my god! Oh shit! Okay! It's like a side-scrolling... Oh wow! This is cool! Alright! 
We gotta say- Oh, so I'm a trauma team member going through the city, taking out bad guys, and rescuing the people in need. That's pretty cool. And when the trauma team comes, they give me items. I got a literal rocket launcher right now. Stage complete. Okay, this is fun. <laughs> Let's see how far we can get in trauma drama. Westbrook, stage one, two. Yeah, so when I when I get the trauma unit to come in. Not only are we saving people, but I get upgrades. <laughs> Which, let's be real, everyone needs a little incentive in their life, right? Double trauma trucks there. One to rescue her and one to extract me. I wonder how many stages there are. I mean, this is just Westbrook, so by the sounds of it, there's there's multiple stages. And then each one will have multiple levels, so it's looking like there's probably a lot of content here. Darn. Well, there you go. That was our first look at Trauma Drama. New arcade game in Cyberpunk 2077. Wow, those high scores are high. To even get on the leaderboard, I would have need to uh, quadrupled my score. <laughs> wow. All right. It's enough gaming for now. Let's get to business. It's a cozy little spot. They got pool. They got pachinko. They got arcade games. They've got dusty looking booths. We got here the moth drink menu. Ooh, let's see what they got. The brosif, the bourbon, the rye whiskey, the nicola, the vodka, and the moth cocktail. How special! What'll it be, honey buns? Honey buns! Oh my god! <laughs> um, surprise me, honey buns. Surprise me. Adventurous. How special coming up? Hell yeah! The moth cocktail. Can't go to Moth Bar without getting a Moth Cocktail. Sure am. Waiting for you. I'll be there momentarily. There's, uh, one thing you should know. I'm sensing something stinky. Sensing there's legacy shit needs resolving. You know that op seven years back that went south? Well, Mize left me for dead. Cover story was I sold out to Arasaka. I never told Alex. It was a cover. So, things could get tense. The two of you close? Know each other well? You and Alex. Two of you were close. I let our sale when the NC was a handler. She wound up stuck here in Dogtown post-war. Thinks it was because I turned coat. Do you see what I'm driving at? Uh, understood. Got it. My tell is to go fuck ourselves. Something like that. I'm nearing the entrance. And here comes my cocktail, right on time. And there you are. Enjoy, honey bunch. Daphne, I like nice. you. I love how she calls me honey Why bunch. In here? I got that right? You knew the dog town? Oh, there's my friend. Oh, hell no. Oh. Oh, wait, you are the undercover agent? Honey Bunch. I'm looking for an Alex. Like fuck you are. Not here, is she? So she not You're here. On the awfully short list of folks we just don't serve here. Turn the fuck around and get. I have a gin and tonic. Make it a double. He's with me. 
Why did you tell her that, Reed? She's never gonna call me Honey Bunch ever again. Maybe All she's right, not people. Alex. We gotta close up for the day. Either way, she she holds a grudge. Anywhere. Come on, you serious? And everyone out just for us? Good lord, Reed. We're VIPs. Everyone out now. Oh, that's a gun. Alex. Seven. Oh no, it is Alex. Okay. In this shithole, cause of you, Solomon Reed. Whoa. Saul ain't getting it. That's Maybe cool tech. Look, we're looking for My we're working for Myers. Myers sent us. Got a mission in Dogtown. With him? FYI, seven years ago, this scumbag stabbed everybody in the back. No, seven years ago, I was ordered to go to ground. And you were fed a cover story. I had to take the fall. There was no other way. Expect me to believe you? Just like that? Get the fuck out of my sight, both of you. I miss when you called me honey bunches. <laughs> Look, we got orders from the president. Look, whatever happened between you two is none of my biz. Got direct orders from the president. Right now, that's all you need to care about. I cared. Cared for seven years. <sighs> but now? It's all right. Take a moment. Fuck this. Need a smoke. Okay. Should be fucking ashamed, Saul. Better just walked around, but that's one way to make an exit. Not a warm greeting, hey, bud? Tense, you said. Could get tense, he said. Yeah. Yeah. Shape shifting? What the hell was that? The hell was that? Did did she just shape shift? Metatropic cloaking. Perks of the FIA Militech connection. Get to call dibs on their latest gen, cutting edge tech. That was pretty cool, I gotta say. Alright, I'll take this. Finish my moth cocktail first. Let me try this. Give me a minute. You're gonna talk to her. Someone's gotta. And better me than you. Yeah, don't think she really wants to hear from you right now, bud. Hi. Couldn't wait till I was done. It's me, Honey Bunches. I'm V. I'm V, by the way. What else can I say? Rosalind, if you were in downtown, Alex welcome you with open arms. So NUSA is tossing us back into the fray, huh? New mission? Yeah, afraid so. Well, fire away. Serenade me. Your real face what I'm looking at now? You, right now. Am I looking at the real Alex? What's it to you? I mean, what's the diff? Nobody who's anybody cares about the real Alex. What if I do? Then it's solely your problem. Now, about the mission. Spill. FIA agent went missing in Dogtown. FIA agent went missing. Reed and I are tasked for finding her. And all of a sudden, FIA remembers I exist. You know Dogtown better than any other operative in their ranks. Their ranks? So you're not FIA. Curious. <sighs> What leverage they had on you. Deal's a one-off thing for me. Deal's just for this one op, then I'm out. <laughs> Wouldn't count on brevity. Me? One in the same mission for the last seven fucking years. Been working the local arms and tech dealers since the war. My one op, that. Going real swell. Well, I got less time than that. Always starts the same way. Do them a favor, they promise one in return. Sometimes even deliver. 
Then one day, they nail your dick to the wall. This ought mean that much to you, because you're clearly hoping to get something out of it. Question is what? Uh, survival. Survival. Woman we're after is offering something that could help me. Just gotta find her first. And by coincidence, Myers also wants her. Who the hell is this bimbo? Songbird. <sighs> Fuck me. Gonna take more than one sig to process that. Is she also banned from your bar, perchance? <laughs> she on that short list of peeps you don't serve here, too? Never told you the whole story, did he? What story? Story of a clusterfuck op. One that led to Reed disappearing and me being holed up here for seven years. Here's the list of operatives. Reed, Songbird, and me. Haven't heard this, have you? <laughs> That's just perfect. Tell me you believe in coincidences? Or fuck it, fate? Cause plug the same variables into an equation and surprise, gonna get the same fucking result. Shit in, shit out. Well, you and that hangdog Judas are in luck. Cause I got a nasty habit of repeating the same gonk mistakes. Got conditions though. I have a feeling us showing up here really ruined her night. But hey, you're still an agent. You in a position to have any? Still on their payroll. Don't care. Tell Saul I'm done letting everyone walk all over me, expecting me to lick their boots. Way I see it, this is a favor I'm doing. A transaction. Want my back scratched in return. Alright, conditions. Let me hear them. So what's your ask? Monaco. Want to burn rubber along the Riviera? Drink champagne on a yacht with a fucking duchess. That sounds amazing. Sign me up, too. Want a spy's retirement? Diplomatic posting in a warm, gobsmackingly gorgeous place where fruit off the trees is sweet and demand for field work is zero. Think you can manage that? Only if I can come along. <laughs> I mean, the mission comes straight from the NUS Prez. Op orders came from the NUS Prez. So, yeah. If anyone can get you set up on a private island, it's probably her. Cream. Go back inside, tell him I'm in. Gonna need more nicotine before I look at his face again. All right, well, thanks. Thanks, Alex. See, look at that. V smoothing things over with the promises of tropical beaches. I did so it, bud. Um, Alex wants a spy's retirement. She's in. Just wants a spy's nice retirement in return. Don't we all? Can't say I blame her. Um, is that normal? I guess so, yeah. Her so, eyes are lit up. I think she did you that. Need someone to hold your hand, Reed. Take you on a tour of NC's Asswart. NC's Asswart. That's a new name for Dogtown. <laughs> if you say so. Fine. Songbird. Heard we gotta sniff her out. Uh, Song's MIA in Dogtown. Song's MIA. Probably here in Dogtown. We were linked, comms like. Song ventured into cyberspace, then got attacked. She vanished just after. That's all we know. We need a net runner. Kind who of spends all their waking hours parsing teraflops of data. Might have caught something. You have someone in mind? Wilkie Slider Laguerre. I should have figured. Yes, you know him, Reed? Went rogue a while back, but I know where that little rat nests. Slider? Who is this guy? Slider. Care to fill me in? Renegade voodoo boy? Murder oh. Turned CI? 
All around piece of shit. Okay, great. Outside the net, he's <laughs> blinder than three mice. Damaged occipital lobe. Not even a Kuroshi could mend it. So, they let a blind man escape? How's an intel agency lose a blind man? Hold himself up with Haitian buddies. Operates a large-scale tech and demon mill. Think Kabuki's home to Night City's soft sorcerers? <laughs> no. They're just there to push product. I do knew the do know that the voodoo boys can mean business when they want to. Do you think he'll help us? Think this guy will be willing to help? Slider? Don't hold your breath. Classic repeat offender, no scruples or principles. Had a titty twist him to work for us. <laughs> Give him a purple well, nurple. This time you'll just have to twist a little harder. Alright. Well, let's pay him a visit. So, we paying him a visit? Slider hides out in a would-be spa in Luxor Heights. Flick you exact cords in two secs. We'll rendezvous there. Alex and I have some, uh, catching up to do. <laughs> right. Just, uh, don't gouge each other's eyes out. We need both of you alive and healthy. Alright. Great chat, folks. Guess I'll meet you guys in your Slider's hideout. Oh, hey, Johnny. See that tree there? This tree? Yeah. What about it? Yeah. Something special about it? Fitting, isn't it? How the prettiest thing here in Dogshit Town is a monument to the dead? He's a little ironic, eh? Still don't get this gonk affinity for symbols and empty gestures. Somebody caught the grumpy bug this morning. You're just buttered because nobody ever lit a candle for you. Shit, maybe I am as sentimental as everyone else. When I see those two, Reed, Alex, went through something similar myself. Share a bond, those two. I think they're true friends. Got a bond, two of them. Took maybe four minutes and they buried the hatchet. See it clear as day. Any shred of friendship they've got left will fizzle out. Oh. Not right now, but soon. Johnny, ever the optimist. The truth years ago. Stay tuned. But no, stubborn old Reed had his orders. I mean, friendship and duty are not mutually exclusive. Not mutually exclusive. Friendship and duty. Matter of fact, they are. Had good reasons to fly the army coop. Think, how many times you willing to get burned before you stop trusting someone? Uh, what's your point? There are points to all this? Replace someone with country or corp. How many times you gotta take a bullet for these motherfuckers in the name of empty promises? Chew on that when you look at those two. Alright. Good chat, Johnny. This is Kurt Hansen. Definitely woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. You've come to the right place. Alright. So, apparently Slider's hideout is actually nearby. It's only 700 meters away. So let's head there now. It's a nice rainy night in Dogtown. It's just after midnight. Rain is coming down. Luckily for us, my bike is still parked outside. I don't like how, uh... Hansen just projects his voice across the whole the whole town like that. It's like, dude, I'm just trying to enjoy my night out. Why are you speaking so loudly? <laughs> Ooh, there's another vehicle we can steal here. How about we do that while we're here? No, no, don't kill me. Oh my god! Why did you kill that dude? So rude of you! Don't worry, random dude. I got revenge for your untimely death, and now I'm going to steal your car. <laughs> On the way. I mean, I don't know if I'd call this thing a pute. It basically looks like my mom's station wagon, but uh, if you want it, and you're going to pay me for it, I'm not going to ask questions. 
Oh my god, it drives like a station wagon. Doesn't help that it's so rainy. I guess the roads are a little slick. Don't want to go hydroplaning on the roads of Night City. One of the tail lights works. <laughs> Love how we said that just as I said only one of the tail lights works. Apparently that's an optional objective though, whether I deliver the vehicle in good condition or not. It's all gonna come down to how much I get shot on my way to deliver this thing. I'll do my best, but I make no promises. That's all I can all I can guarantee you. So far, so good, but we still got a long ways to go. A lot can happen in two kilometers. Excuse me, I have a stolen vehicle to deliver. Looks like the rain's letting up. That's good, at least. Or perhaps it's just because got a bit of cover right now. Oh no, it's not raining out here either. Excellent. It's like 80, 90 miles per hour is this thing's top speed. Seems about right. I like how the distance is measured in kilometers, but the speed is measured in miles per hour. I don't know if there's a setting I can change for that. As a Canadian, I'm used to measuring my speeds in kilometers per hour, but... I don't really care either way. It just seems weird that we're using two different uh, metrics here <laughs> for measurement. Guys, this delivery is going way too smoothly. I have so many suspicions right now. No one has chased me? I haven't been shot at once? Something seems wrong here. Maybe it's because I dispatched the guys... ...who had the car so quickly. They didn't even have time to call for backup. Almost hit the guardrail there. I'm like, we almost got this thing back in good condition. I can't screw it up now. Probably shouldn't do 60 on these uh, twists and turns. <laughs> Although there is no traffic on the roads, so that helps. All right, guys, we made it without getting shot at once. It's a miracle. There you go. Not gonna lie, v. Think you got a gift. Thank you. All right. I'll take care of the rest. This your man? Check the drop point, your reward. Just don't spend it all on XPDs and glitter. But I love glitter. Ooh. In here is an auto fixer's discount extravaganza. This ain't just another useless shard, it's a discount shard. Activate it on the auto fixer net page and enjoy better vehicle prices. Also a skill shard for the engineering. And a money shard that has four grand on it. A revolver, a skill shard for net running. Oh my god, he gave us so much loot! That was incredible, wow. That was very much worth doing. Noted, whenever we see the vehicle quests pop up, we're gonna be taking them. All right, rather than driving all the way back to Dogtown, is there a fast travel point nearby? No, there's not. Oh, man. Well, luckily for you guys in the magic of editing, we can fast travel that way because I will edit out our trip back and I will meet you guys at Slider's Hideout. Get on my bike here. And off we go. Oh, 
All right, we made it back to Dogtown, and it looks like we're heading towards this imposing building on the top of the hill here. I can't lie, it kind of reminds me of the Death Star, like if it was cut in half. <laughs> it is just uh, very imposing up here, and I guess this is Slider's hideout, because this is where the quest marker has taken us, so... Let's go see what we got. Clearly this was supposed to be another big attraction that never got finished. Some sort of luxury hotel or something, I'm sure. Let's go see what we got. Hello. Reed's not here yet, I'm early. Or I'm late? I don't know. <laughs> we'll just sit on this comfortable bench and wait. You haven't been waiting long, I hope. Well, guess you and Alex needed a while to catch up. Hmm, yeah. All swell now, though. Let's go. Time's at a premium. This is spooky. Got the Voodoo Boys decorations out front. They posted lookouts. Go figure. I doubt they'll play nice and just let us in. I mean, there's got to be another way in. Let's look. Or actually, oh, let's just try to say hello. Let's chat him up. No harm in talking to him. Might let us through. We all know V's got a bit of a silver tongue. Let's see what we can do here. Hello! You look like bad news. Turn around and crawl back to the hole you came from. Uh, I'm looking for a net runner. Looking for a net runner. Not a kind of service we provide, partner. So kindly fuck the fuck off, eh? Slider, I know he's inside. No sliders inside. Just want to talk. Tell them. What part of fuck off did you not understand? Are you deaf or just fucking stupid? Everybody just keep calm. Fuck off, Grandpa. Whew, Grandpa. How bad, Chum? Come on, V. Let's be on our way. Well, so much for the charismatic approach. All right, let's go. Fine. Be on our way then. Very welcoming to guests. Good lord. I didn't realize the Voodoo Boys were actually in Dogtown, too, but I guess it makes sense since they're set up in Pacifica, which is literally next door. A few of them came in this way. I spotted the shaft on our way in. Perfect. We just need to find a vent, crawl through to the other side, and open the door. Okay, gonna take a look. I'll hang back on lookout, cover you if need be. I guess going in wasn't a waste of time after all, because at least we spotted a potential way in. Door. Ventilation system might be behind it. It's worth a try. Needs a pin though. Oh. Come Doesn't need through. a pin if you're strong yes. enough. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, here we go. Bypassing him. Bye bye, suckers. Oh. <laughs> Oh shit. That's not what I wanted. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh no. Mekisa Saye, your go gara can be. We tickle your nerve ending till you scream. Oh god. Turn back! Toss your up, mute! Easy now. It's linked to the main server, which gives me an idea. Get ready for some lead spin. Okay. Now V. All right. Guess we're not doing the silent approach. I got you. I'm just chopping off people's heads. You reload. 
Oh, sorry, Reed. Hang on, what do you want me to do here? Oh. There. Can't get me if I destroy your servers! Chop, chop! Right, is everyone up on the second floor now? I think so. Time to get bouncy, V. Got it. Not gonna hack us today, folks. Not today. I'm so glad I got those leg bouncy implants. I literally think those are my favorite implants I've got. We're almost home now. Uh, there we go. I was gonna say, that doesn't seem to be working. Hello. Time for some sin devastated combat. It's just too easy. They can't even see me. I'm just a flying beam of death. All right, are we done? No, there's one guy left. Reloaded. Okay, you take care of him. I need to do some mega loot. Mega looting right now, Reed. You know how it is. I see lots of purples. Alright, I'll get rid of them. You made a big fucking mistake. Uh-huh. Alright. Goodbye head. <laughs> Gave us street cred. Hey, it rhymes. Goodbye head. Gave us street cred. That's kind of disturbing. Alright, now. Where could our guy be? Locked door there. What do we got over here? Archived conversation. Does this have any clues? Oh, I also leveled up. Nice. Tell me, do we wear bell-bottom jeans and flowers in our hair? No? Then why do we act like a fucking hippie commune? <laughs> oh, God. Another question, why are we all voodoo boys and not voodoo girls? I'm asking the real questions. Where, where are the voodoo girls at? That's what I want to know. Shout out to my voodoo girls. They deserve representation too. All voodoos are important. Order. Oh, this is all the stuff they need to buy. So they're basically their shopping list. This looks Bastards. right. You murder my people in cold blood. They made their choice when they opened up at us. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck me. Solomon Reed. I would be lying if I said I have missed you. And you, you put Mama Bridget under your spell. Will you be with me as well? You heard about me. Heard about me? How? Me, my temple, we are one. My eyes and ears are everywhere. This isn't a temple. It's a malicious demon mill. And you're no priest. You're a two-bit bandit and murderer. You have to say to that. Ha! It takes one to know one. Touché. So, what will it be? Will you strike a bargain with me as you did with that bitch, Bridget? Uh, I don't know you yet. Don't know. Don't know you yet, Slider. I am called many things. Wilkie Laguerre, the blind fury of the cyberspace. A thorn in the NUSA's fat ass. Take your pee. Yeah, you forgot to add double murderer and all around coward. We're here to negotiate, Slider. Cut a deal. If one party is backed into a corner, it is not negotiation, it is extortion. You say tomato, I say fucking deal with it, Slider. <laughs> Now, cut the shit and do us the courtesy of hearing us out. 
No love lost between you two, huh? No love lost between you two, huh? Those who speak to read have a strange habit of vanishing or committing suicide. But since you are partners, you must know that by now. Speak your piece. Did you hear, hear of the SF-1 crash? Plane crash in Dogtown. Heard about it? Plane? <laughs> you mean the Space Force 1. Everyone hear about that. Need your help locating someone who was on board. And I would surely oblige. Were I not blind, wheelchair bound, and do not give zero fucks about <laughs> that or you. Oh, Slider's got away with words. Like you got a choice. Donk, Dim, sir. What specifically do you want from me? Looking for a woman I lost contact with. Soon after SF1 crashed, a runner was attacked while on the net. Attack severed our link. Need to locate her stat. Ah. So you want one to investigate net traffic on the day of the crash? Got a malfunctioning relic in my skull. So I should make contact. That help any? Hmm. Perhaps. I will need a peek at this trinket in your head. Uh... Do we trust this man to poke around in my brain? I don't think so. You will not. No, no chance, Slider. That is a it sick is wheelchair, by the way. Nothing. You choose. Alright, fine. Watch him close, Reed. Keep your eyes on him, Reed. I am blind, not deaf. Let us see what we have here. I see traces. Bursts of data in cyberspace. The wake of someone's passage. Oh! Who dare they mad? This I do not believe. You out of your mind coming to me with this shit. Think he means you, Johnny. I think Slider just happened on you hanging out in my head. Nah, this is something else. What you see? The black wall. It bring only death. Specific, Slider. The woman. Did you know she used the black wall protocol to connect with you? Can't say I did. I had no idea, no. Now you do. What's that mean for us? For what we need? How to explain to layman? The net has layers, various vectors for translocation. But there is one thing that must not be touched. The black wall. The woman? She is walking, ticking bomb, megatons. She go boom. Everybody fucked in the ass. Every last one. Miwanwa. It is a dam that protects us, the civilized world, from the strange bets of the cyber wilderness. If your two leg bomb crack the dam down the middle, it will unleash a flood. Wipe us off the map, just like Haiti. So the black walls, why you, why you fell out with the Pacifica voodoo boys? Because when we made contact with them, their whole thing was they wanted to get beyond the black wall. That why you and the Pacifica voodoos don't see eye to eye? Because they're poking holes in the black wall? They do not penetrate. Only jerk off next to it. Wow, watch, try what a uh, kick. metaphor there. But you have to be caught in the first place to want to stick your gigit into a live wire outlet. To the AIs, past the black wall, you are no more than a cockroach, a rabbit, a fragment of outdated code with no meaning. This why Netwatch flatline any who put integrity of black wall at risk. It's no laughing matter, my friend. 
It is a concern for the safety of all. That's why you, my friend, need to restore V's connection to our girl. You are out of your mind. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Non-negotiable, Slider. We need to find her. Besides, as long as she's out there, they catch her scent, they catch yours now, too. They'll set their wirehead freaks on to you and your people. So, you'll help me clean this up, cover all tracks, snip any threads leading back to you and consequently us. Do that, and we'll be square. You'll be off the FIA's hook, too. <sighs> Meld. It's my lucky day. Ever done this before? Ever done anything like this before? What? Be the bridge between hosts using the Blackwall protocol? What the fuck do you think, eh? <laughs> Confirm the data transfer before I change my mind. <laughs> this guy is really to the point. All right, let's go. Here we go. Oh, God. Songbird? Is that so right? How? Oh, right. Liars. Working together now. With Alex, too. I can hardly believe he's here, but it's a good thing. Uh, we got disconnected. Songbird, thought we lost you. What happened? Thing. It, it almost fried my brain. I had to look for help. Beyond the black wall. Uh-oh. Heard it ain't exactly safe. Not exactly. Dust clear. Listen, babe. Don't have much time. Hanson's people tracked me down after I res the Chimera. I've been detained. I'm not in any danger. Not as long as I behave, do what I'm told. I need to go Yes. Everything okay, Songbird? Something's not right. Are you okay? Ah, fucking black wall. <sighs> black Sapphire V. Hampton's hosting a huge shit in there. Crash it on the sly. I'll find you. Make sure to tell Rain. Jack out. Is everything all right for you? Oh no, did it kill Slider? Poor bastard. Poor bastard. Oh, I feel bad. Oh. It's over. You short sucked. It's her fault he's dead. Slider. He flatlined because of us. Flatline, period. Planned to kill him anyway, didn't you? Need you to come clean. Were you gonna off him no matter what? Questions moot. Slider's dead. What's done is done. So, Songbird. What's up with her? Got the link back up. We spoke. She's fine, mostly. Needs our help, but she's fine. In one piece. Alright. Give me the deets later. Come on, let's delve her out of here. There could be more of Slider's lackeys looking around. Take it easy, Slider. I actually feel really bad about this. Slider didn't seem like a bad guy. I mean, sure, he was doing some bad things, making demons and all that, but I don't know. I, I feel bad. Nothing we can do now, though. At least we have a low uh, track on Songbird's location. And there's more guys in here. 
Ça a passé là. Il y a tout bruit. Tant qu'on peut, on a des manches. C'est vert. Get. Nous cherchons les tout coups. Soutis des doux. On dit moment tout coup. Ah, crap. There's no way I was gonna get around him. Let's just finish it. Let's go. Already on it. I'm empty. Need a reload. Whoa, that's an interesting helmet. What in the world? How did they see out of that? Well, they're not gonna see anything anymore. <laughs> but you know. Oh boy. Combat in this game is just, it's too fun. I can't recommend a fast ninja melee build enough, because I, I just have a blast. Especially with the new abilities, I can just fly around even faster. That was fun. Alright, well, we certainly left uh, a bit of a trail behind us. Let's get out of here. Let's move on. Find a quiet corner. Yeah. Good view up here. What did Songbird tell you? Uh... She confirmed she's using the black wall. She's tapped into the black wall. Didn't deny it. No big thing. Kinda. We need to find her, fast. Did she drop any coordinates? Song needs our help, Reed. Hansen's nabbed her, holding her, for reasons. God damn it. I can't imagine any worse news than that. Black Sapphire. Said Hansen's throwing a big bash there. We get in, she'll find us. Any idea what and where the sapphire is? Over there. See the tall of the two scrapers next to the one with the big ass green. Yep. That's the black sapphire. A would be it's hotel and lots of lights. Multi-billion eddy investment. Hands as fortress, smack in the middle of Dogtown. Hmm. We can't just barge in. Doubt we have anyone on the inside or affiliated who could crack open a door either. Alex and I will pull some strings when our contacts. You do the same. You know, think of who you know around here. Maybe what will happen on an idea, find a way. No local fixer. Goes by Mr. Hands. Could ring him. Do it. We'll be in touch. All right. Well, at least we know that Songbird is alive and we know where she is, although getting in here is obviously going to be a bit of an issue. We will call Mr. Hands and see if he can help us out with this little problem, but for now, I think we'll call it a day. Yet another action-packed episode of the Phantom Liberty DLC. I'm really enjoying this so far. The story is really good. I can't wait to see where it goes. Um, for now, that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for uh, joining me on our playthrough of Phantom Liberty so far. If you've been enjoying the series, please let me know. I love reading your comments. Don't forget to uh, drop a like on the video and perhaps hit that subscribe button so you'll know when new episodes are live. But until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys back here again real soon.